manta, the Spanish word for blanket. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. I got up early to take the dogs on a walk because today, Elise and Moses get to come home. And I feel like the dogs are going to love Moses, but maybe a little too much. And I think that this morning, Moses is going to get a bath of licks from the dogs. So I'm interested to see how it all turns out, and uh, I'm praying that it all goes well today. But let's go. the hospital and little Moses is sound asleep life is good but before we can go home there are a bunch of other things that I need to do first of all just stare at Moses so baby Moses I think uh, gets his eating habits from me right outside of the hospital though there's these churrascas and mm, they're so good so one of the things that I love the most about Chile is how much babies mean because here, after the baby is born, you get a ton of stuff. Like, all of this is ours. No, not all of it is ours, but just you wait and see what the government gives to newborn babies. They really care about the babies here. It's pretty awesome. One box, two box, just you wait. Now, I'm not going to say exactly how much it costs in order to have a baby here in Chile, but what I will say is, the food is a lot better in the hospital, and it is a fraction of the cost to have a baby here in Chile compared to that in the United States. The other question that I get from people in the United States is, how is the medical care here in Chile compared to the United States? And I would say our experience was great. We had no problems. The doctor, the madrona, everyone in the hospital, they were experts, they knew exactly what they were doing, and they took care of Moses and Elise perfectly. Nothing bad to say. A lot of people, though, were wondering, why don't you go back to the United States and have the baby? Why would we? Now our baby has dual citizenship, meaning when he's 18, he can choose if he wants to be a citizen of the United States or of Chile. So right now, he'll have two passports, one from the United States and one from Chile. Pretty awesome, huh? It's, uh, it's time to go home. Okay, so literally all of this stuff was given to us by the government and they give it to every newborn baby. And Lena seems to really like it, but let's open it up and see if she likes it more than Moses, who's sleeping over there. Oh, Lena. First, this little guy. Well, it's not very little, it's actually pretty heavy, but Hi. Pillow for the airport. They must know that we're gringos and we travel a lot. This will be great on the plane. Nicely wrapped. Baby soaps and lotions, hand sanitizer. A little bath towel. Oh, okay. Check out this backpack. I think Lena could fit inside. Lena, go inside. No? Oh my goodness, look at all these clothes. Wow, we From the Kamiseta Manga Lag line. <laughs> Long sleeve shirt. Programa de apoyo. 
Um, we've got a book that even I can read. And there it was. A little book. Thank you, government. And all of that stuff was inside of this, which hangs out on the wall or on a door. And you can put other stuff inside of it and that's what everything came in. How cool is that? Four of these guys. For the baby bed. Or maybe it's a tent. I better explore. Definitely a baby bed. But also, there's a mobile. And a comforter. But seriously, this book is really interesting. And look at all these things that the government gives you if you're here in Chile and have a baby. What a blessing. This is, I don't know how much money, but thank you, Chile. But I hope you enjoyed the video for today. We're going to relax. I am exhausted and so is Moses. He's sleeping right back there. And I just realized that I didn't mention how the dogs reacted to Moses coming into the house. And the dogs really didn't react much at all. And right now, I think they're just like fascinated that there's another human being in the house and they want to lick him, but we're keeping the dogs just just a, a little bit away from him right now, but they're doing really, really well, and they're very, very, very needy. But what's new? Anyways, mm -hmm. we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of the links are right below. And from Lena and Coley and Moses and Elise, we'll see you guys next time. But for now, mm -hmm. ciao, Pascal.